Good morning, dear students. Now we are watching Edistar Class Six History Chapter Three in the Earliest Cities Part Two. In this video, you are going to learn about some important points and as well you how to write your class work note. Yes. First, see the picture where Karapans religious. Yes, a lot of statues have been found which suggest that the Karapans worshipped a mother. Goddesses, yes, there are seals with Pasubadi and Shivalingas. Pasubadi is considered to be the god of cattle. And see the next one. It is also possible that the Karapans were fire worshippers. Yes, they also worshipped not only the god and goddesses and as well as the karapans were fire worshippers yes and we can say that because many fire altars have been found in the cities yes and see the next one see the symbol of that uh, swastika so the later karapan seals also show images of the swastika so which is on important symbol in hinduism now also we are using this symbol right yes and the early karapans buried their dead with food and articles they probably believed in the life after death so for that only they buried along with food and articles yes and see the later karapans were cremated and their ashes were buried in urns quite similar to what hindus do right yes and these are all exhibited by the archaeologist and they may have been a religious head of the people some statues have been found that look like a priest king just to see the picture then think and discuss what deities did the harappans worship so already we saw that they worshipped goddesses then the archaeologists they found the statue of shivalinga and pasubadi and as well as the symbol of swastika right so these are all the some of the god and goddesses they worshipped and what can we infer the fact then the karapans buried the dead with weapons and other animals just to think about it see the next one karapan jobs so what are the profession they took the karapans were into weaving metal working toy making stone cutting and making jewelry see the main occupation of the karapans must have been farming they also seem to be mastered the art of pottery see the pottery it's look like uh, such a beautiful thing right yes and karapan pottery is of very high quality and made on the wheel the pots are glazed and painted well just to see that uh, pottery work yes black color has been used to paint the design on the pots silver and copper pots and vessels have been found in the cities too the archaeologists found the potteries archaeologists have found bits of actual cloth attached to some objects that they exhibited cloth normally does not last for so many years did you know that yes so the interest people were skilled in spinning yarn and weaving fabric the karapans must have even made cloth from the hair of sheep and goats they also know how to dye cloths in different way yes and looking at how good the weaving pottery painting and jewelry of the karapan is we can guess that the people were trained well to do all these things right yes the next one see seals in karappa more than 2000 years 
two thousand seals were found, and most of them are square shaped, and they were probably used for trade. And archaeologists have not yet been able to decode the writing on the seals. Did you notice that some of the writing on the seals, right? Most seals have animal pictures. and the seals have provided a lot of information about the daily life of the people their religion occupations customs and trade yes why because these are the seals they are used in the trade yes all seals are smoothly glazed they were probably used by traders for stamping they could be worn around the neck or arm too yes they are used as a like a jewelry also and just a thing and discuss how do we know that the karapan people know the art of writing just a thing about it right see the next one trade in karapa trade was systematic so they used standard weights and measure to measure things even then did you see the stones some of the stones are there to measure the weights yes and they export exported things like textiles fragrances beads and other objects to egypt and western asia yes many items that we have found in karappa are made from things that have come from far away the raw material for these objects have come from rajasthan karnataka gujarat afghanistan iran and even oman and see the next one is dolavira so another karapan city was excavated in gujarat so it is at dolavira in ran of kutch so that is in gujarat and dolvira was divided into three parts each part was surrounded by massive stone walls did you see the picture a very big walls are there right yes so dolvira was the grandest city of its time it was an important center of trade so the people they are using the city to trade it is a center place yes they also found large letters of the karappan script that were carved out of white stone and probably laid in wood just to see the letters there were storehouses where they found a lots of seals yes in the lothal there were found a storehouses and there also they found a lot of seals the next about lothal at the karappan town of lothal in gujarat a huge dockyard was excavated ships must have loaded and unloaded there for import and export things yes just to see the picture there were storehouses where they found a lots of seals already we saw that right just to see the picture so around water is there so there were also workshops where beads must have been made and these are all the some of the workshops so they must have been they can make the beads also yes and a lothal is just a 3 hour drive from ahmedabad you can actually visit it and see the excavated city yourself so if you had a uh, chance to go ahmedabad just go and see the city of lothal in the earliest cities how it ended so the mystery of the end and these are the karappa mohenjodaro dalvira and lothal these are the cities of a mystery of the end and see no one knows what happened to the people of the indus valley at most of the settlements the population went on decreasing they could have been earthquakes and some of the other reasons also there and there were probably climate change the river course may have changed the orients may have invaded these people so in some cities the damage suggest that some attacks had happened 
So at Mohanjadaro, broken stone birds of men had been found. There have been hasty burials of uh, dead within the houses instead of cemeteries. So archaeologists have also found some stashes of jewellery hidden in that. So what do all things uh, tell us? Do you have any idea? Yes, these uh, things tell us there were problems in the city in its last days. Yes, just think and think about it. Mention any two theories about how the Karapan civilization must have hum, come to an end. So, so many reasons are there, right? So, just think about it. A special feature. In all the things that the archaeologists have found, there is no evidence of army, uh, armies and kings, slaves, prisons, etc. So, all other civilizations have heard plenty of these negative things. So, none of these bad things were found in the Karapan civilization. So, we can say that that were a really special advanced civilization indeed. It is not that amazing. Yes, when we are comparing to the others, it is amazing. And the rest of the world, the Indus Valley civilization is about 7000 years old. So, one is the Egyptian and one is the Mesopotamian. And these are the two of the ancient civilizations. The first is the Egyptian civilization. Egypt is a country in Africa around the river Nile. Yes, the river Nile is the one of the longest river in the world. Right? Yes. And Egyptian civilization. About 5000 years ago, the Panthros ruled over Egypt. And in the Egypt civilization, when the Pathos died, they were buried in the huge pyramids with weapons, ornaments, food, musical instruments and servants. So these were one of the most elaborate burials in the world history. Yes, along with the burial, they added these are all the things. And this is called the most elaborate burial in the world history. And the next one is Mesopotamian civilization. So this was in the region of uh, Iran, Syria and Turkey. See the next one. It was not one civilization but a mixture of many. So they had a lot of uh, gods and lot of temples also. Did you see the picture? That is one of the old temple in the Mesopotamian civilization. Yes. And archaeologists believe that this was where the wheels was invented. So at the time the wheel was invented. And see the next one. Comparing civilization. The Indus Valley civilization was by far the most advanced. They had planned cities drainage system and a public peace. So no other civilization had all these features. Dear students, it is the time to write your classwork note. So before that, in this lesson, we discussed so many important points. Right? So let me have remember that. Points to ponder. So what are the important points? The story of Karapa. What was special about these cities? These cities means that is Karapa and Mohanjadaro. Okay. Yes. Then houses, drains and streets. Life in the city. New grams in the city. In search of raw materials. Food for people in the cities. A closer look. Dalavira and Lothal. At, and at last the maestri of the end. So these are the some of the important points we already discussed in this lesson. Right. Now, it is a time to write your classwork note. Yes, all of you take your history classwork note. So, in that, already you are completed two lessons. Now, all of you take your new page. In that, as usual, all of you write date and day. Then, leave that red line and write the heading chapter 3 in the earliest cities. Yes. Already I told that 
so in the video what are the letters are in bold you have to write with black and other with blue stick yes so after writing the heading leave one line and write the first roman letter choose the correct answer so in that leave one line and write the first question that is most of the things found by archaeologist were made up of dash so the correct answer is both a and b so write all the three options and write the correct answer after writing this leave one line and write the second question so after writing that leave one line and write the third question so after writing all the three leave one line and write the heading filling the blanks so in the filling the blanks only two questions so properly neatly write so after writing the filling the blanks leave one line and write the answer the following questions so what is the first question how were the buildings constructed in karappan civilization leave one line and write the answer so what is the answer in karappan civilization the important buildings were constructed on the citadel like the great bath buildings were constructed with burned brick and plaster then the interlocking of bricks made the wall stronger then cities had fire altars storehouses and even dockyard so this is the answer so after writing this leave one line and write the second question so what is that how do we know that different professions excited during this period leave one line and write your answer so what is that karappa was a multi profession civilization we have found remains of plants and animals which indicate farming and herding spindle holes for spinning thread indicates weaving as a profession finding of stone shell and metal implements indicate work of specialist then at last pottery beads plates all this indicate different profession so in this only two questions right so all of you write your class work neatly clearly and you have to take a clear photo and send it back to the mail id that is edustar.6@gmail.com yes Thank you dears